Many people start their day with different things on their mind, like what to wear, check their social media, work, and how much money they can make. Not putting God first and suddenly, in a moment, they will die and the people will be troubled at midnight and pass away and the mighty will be taken away without a hand. This is why you need the midnight prayer. A blessed good night to all of you. May the Spirit of God bless your life. Now is midnight and three minutes. We are going to have the moment of prayer. And I would like to invite you to have in hand the pictures of your family, to have in hand the names of your family members. Uh, a while ago, we had our uh, nine o'clock prayer. When we pastors, we determine the transformation of your family members. As a matter of fact, we are in this week that we are praying on behalf of our loved ones, all right? So if you have the pictures, if you have the names, hold it today in your hands because when I return after this powerful testimony, I am going to pray for your family and also for you. And I am going to ask God to bless Trinidad and Tobago. By the way, prepare also a glass of water because I will be here blessing it and asking God to help you wherever you are. I grew up uh, in a dysfunctional home. Um, fortunately, due to the alcoholism that my father had, uh, there was no happiness, there was no peace, there was nothing. There was a lot of arguments between my parents and due to that, I started growing a hatred towards him. I honestly thought that him being out of the equation, that we were gonna be happy, that he wasn't needed, that he actually was the cause of the problem. And I started growing that hatred towards him to the extent that I wanted to kill him. I will hear voices telling me of ways to be able to kill him, uh, telling me that it will be better even to run away from home because it was just so unbearable to be home, to be able to see the situation that we were in. And I grew up ostracized completely away from people. I didn't want to talk to anyone. It will get me angry to see other people smile, to see people happy because I didn't think it was fair for others to be happy and that I wasn't able to have happiness. I honestly thought that I was never going to be happy. And Frank, quite frankly, I didn't even see a future for myself and or any sort of, you know, change in my life. I was invited to the nursery church uh, by my aunt. Uh, she invited me to start participating in the services. And the first day that I participated, I felt peace, something in which I hadn't felt for so long. Uh, that hope that things were gonna change, you know, started. And I started seeking for that God because I was in the bottom of the pit and I wanted help. I wanted to find that love that the pastors were preaching about. And I surrendered myself completely to Him. And and I started participating in my change of prayer on Fridays for the deliverance on Sundays uh, to receive the presence of God, to be able to fill in that void that was inside of me. And that's how little by little I started changing. Uh, that hatred started fading away. I started becoming someone that was happy, optimistic, someone that believed that there was a better tomorrow. And then God also, God started working in my family. My mother stopped being depressed. Uh, she started participating in the service also my father although it took some time but he also was able to be delivered from alcoholism and he started participating in a world so God made that transformation something that seemed impossible turned possible my family is blessed uh, thank God we're all in the faith uh, we there's peace the Holy Spirit is the one that guides our lives I am completely transformed I have love for others my father is like a friend to me that hatred fade away I want to help other people I have goals plans and I know that God is the one leading my my life and that you know that tomorrow whatever it may be that God is always there to you know to bless me and to guide me without the Holy Spirit I wouldn't be anything and it wouldn't be possible for me to actually have 
have that change in my life. Because the moment that I received the Holy Spirit, it, everything got transformed. My way of seeing things, my way of thinking, everything was transformed. And that's what gave me the strength to be able to continue forward, to maintain that clean heart and to not let anything, you know, nothing, especially that hatred, you know, that was part of my past. So, you know, to interfere with the happiness that I have today. For you that are watching this testimony and you're going through family problems or difficulties, there's a solution. If there are thoughts in you thinking that there's no way of being able to fix those problems, God is the way. Just give him a chance. I give God that opportunity to transform my life. And as he transformed mine, he could transform yours. Prayer is our communication with God. You watched the testimonies. You heard the word. But now, please close your eyes and prepare for the moment of prayer. In life we have so much pain No everything Our Lord and our Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, I ask you, my Lord, for you to set this person free from whatever sickness, whatever disease, whatever evil that have been fighting against this person, especially those, my Lord, that cannot sleep well during the night, those who are stressed, those who are depressed, so many problems this person have been going through. I ask you, my Lord, for you to set this person free. I have in hands the glass of water as this person they have theirs. And I ask you, Lord, for you to sanctify this water with your power. For when we drink, Lord, let your power to be inside of us. Let your power to be inside of this person. Removing whatever sickness, whatever infirmity, whatever that it caused this person to feel depressed. I also pray on behalf of Trinidad and Tobago. My Lord, so many bad things have been here uh, in this day. So many, my Lord, crimes, so many murders, domestic violence rates have been increasing daily. Please, Lord, deliver our country from north to south, from east to west. Deliver Trinidad and Tobago from the hands of the devil. My Lord, while many Trinidadians are sleeping, many Tobagonians are sleeping, we are here, Lord, calling upon your name. Bless our nation. Father, we are in this week that we are praying on behalf of our family. And in the same way that Noah, he sacrificed, my Lord, more than 120 years to build the ark. And you, my Lord, you saved him and also his entire family. Do the same for this person. Those who have been doing their channel of prayer. Those that have been calling on behalf of their family members. Whatever they are, Lord, set them free. My God, this person who hold the pictures, who hold the names of their family members, set them free, Lord. Those who are very rebellious, those, my Lord, they don't like to listen, they don't like to be disciplined. Those that have been falling bad people, my God, visit them right now. And set them free. Those who are addicted to marijuana, to gambling, to cigarettes, they have their family to take care. However, they have been taking bad, my Lord, bad steps. They have been falling bad people, set them free, Lord. Deliver them, those who are unemployed. Open a great door for them. Those, my Lord, they are in need of a, a, a love life breakthrough. Please, Father, I ask you for you to visit and help them. Protect our family. My Lord, save our house. Bring peace to this family. Bring joy to this house. Bring prosperity. And above all, Father, bring salvation. Save them. We don't want to lose our family member at all. We don't want, my Lord, there to lose their salvation. My God, I surrender their lives into your mind. And again, I ask you, consecrate and bless this glass with water. 
And those who believe says, Amen. Do you believe? You may drink now from your water and be blessed. Amen. Very well, friend. I do believe that you are blessed. And also, your family is blessed by the power of God. Let us continue every night, every midnight, also 9 p.m. to pray on behalf of our family, on behalf of Trinidad and Tobago. This country here needs a lot of prayer. And we are going to pray. We are going to always ask God to heal our land, right? If you'd like to speak to one of us tomorrow, better say today, throughout of the day, we are going to be here, especially today. That is a day that we dedicate more to pray for the family. We are going to be here at 6 o'clock, 10, 12 p.m., 3 in the afternoon, most especially at 5. The last one is going to be at 5 o'clock. Only today, the last one is going to be at 5 o'clock right before i go let me show to you what took place last week friday with the challenge of the cross and this friday again we are going to be together challenge god on the cross and for sure he will set you free as for me i wish you a wonderful night god bless you see you here at the universal church challenge of the cross a service of deliverance and freedom many people are being set free What's your name? Natasha. Hi, Natasha. What problem did you bring at the foot of the cross today? Well, I've been weak and sick. Yeah. How long have you been feeling this way? A long time. A very long time. But when you came to this chain of prayer at the foot of the cross, you received healing. Yes, I received healing, yeah. And I'm feeling much better now. You feel much better. Will you continue in this chain of prayer? Yes, I will. Okay. Thank you for sharing with us, Miss Natasha. I miss, what's your name? Marva. I miss Marva. What problem did you bring at the cross today? I had a back pain for more than a week now. So when I touch the cross, I feel something just disappear from me. And I said, when I start to in my skin, I feel nothing. I said, what? So one week now you had this back pain? Mm -hmm. Yes, I got a hug. You didn't sit down properly or bend over. And now you can bend? Yes, I can. And you could not do this before? I couldn't do it because it was pain at the good home. Will you continue in the chain of prayer? Yes, I will continue in the chain of prayer. Thank you, Miss, for sharing with us. See you next Friday. Challenge of the Cross.